What is up guys and welcome to today's video. This is a special 100 subs video because we hit 100 subs and I, that was a couple of weeks ago but I was impotent and didn't make a video because I'm shit. As I was cleaning out my room the other day I found some of my old school books and um, there's something of a sight to be seen. Uh, I wonder why my school didn't flag me and didn't put me in with a child psychologist and you will probably fit find out in the next 10 minutes or so however fucking long this video is these range from about the age of three or four when I was in nursery all the way up until about year nine which was like I'd like to say 13 or 14 maybe 15 one of the two yeah but starting out, we had, we got these like special book things in nursery, which is basically a timeline of your work throughout school and stuff. And you know, you could probably tell that I was a fucking Picasso. Look at that shit. Look at it. It just looks like colorful sperms. Look at it. I mean, this is the type of thing that you'd show a teacher and the teacher would go, yeah, that, that, that's really good, and then turn the back and go, it's fucking shit. Even better was the next page about all about me. I mean, apparently my name is An Anna, because I couldn't spell A, and I'm apparently four, four years old. Maths. And my idea of what a girl's colour is and a boy's colour is, is blue for a girl and purple for a boy? My hair is apparently brown, but I coloured it in red because I was a rebellious child. My eyes are apparently blue, but I coloured them in red as well. I was obviously um, Satan with the red. Apparently this is me. What the, what the fuck is that? What is that? Who even... Y what? Oh wait, oh wait. I have found the mother lord. This was my first story. It called In the Jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Owie! I am one with the dog now. A jungle is a hot and has lots of trees. Great fucking grammar. The jungle can be a dangerous place. I got bit by a snake. There are lots of animals. There are frogs. The end. I mean, I must have been one of the most intelligent children in the class because I don't think any child knows what a fucking frog is and where they live. Moving swiftly on, I found a little book within it and I don't even know if it was part of the school book. This is just how my mind works. Apparently I need warmth to stop me from getting pneumonia. I was smart because I obviously knew what pneumonia was. I need food to keep me fed and not to starve to death. I like where everything so far is, could end in death. I need water to keep me cool and not dehydrated. Dehydration can lead to death. Uh, I need love. So I don't get lonely. Wow. Even at a young age I was depressing. The art book. Because you know, I, I thought I was an artist. Flowers and plants. What? This was for science. Why is it in an art book? They just look like special weird dildos. Like... And Summers hit this shit right up right now. This is apparently me and my dad. I fear for my future children having these sick art skills. What is that on my dad's head? He's got like a cone on his head and it looks like shit. I look like a fucking clown. Like my hair wasn't even like that. Why did I draw it like that? Who the fuck did I think I was? And I like that the teachers put, good try. Like, you know, you tried, but... It still came out like a pile of shit. Ugh, what the fuck is this? I mean, was I trying to be Vincent van Gogh? Because I'm pretty sure that even he would turn in his grave at this. I don't even know what it's trying to show. It's just shit. This strange being that has no legs but looks like they're kind of a rocket and shooting up to the moon. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. I can't, I can't tell what it is. No, I'm not a racist person, okay? No way, shape, form racist. But in the RE book, it's kind of, uh, makes me wonder what my mind was telling me back in 
the day. Because even when I open the first page, I am retelling the Islamic story in a storyboard. But, um... Look at this shit. Who was I trying to draw? I would like to slap myself in the face countless times so far and so hard that I would fly back to the fucking dinosaur age. I mean, Jesus. Oh yeah, we did Sikhism and uh, we had to so do something about the five Ks. I don't know what the five Ks is because I probably wasn't paying attention, but instead I think this is a sword from Final Fantasy. I think, if I remember my mind correctly, Final Fantasy was the game that I was watching my brother play through. And I even wrote the sign of the Zodiac upside down. Because I was that smart. My teachers wrote down below, Sikhs don't believe in the Zodiac. I think you're getting a bit mixed up here. You were meant to draw the five Ks. Please ask if you're not sure. I probably was sure, but I probably didn't want to do the work. In And in the back of this book, it has like dreams. Like, what? Apparently my dream is to be a jockey and win the Grand National in Derby. And I'm Drew me on a fucking horse. This dream is realistic because I used to go to a jockey school and got a license. What kind of shit was I trying to pull? Younger Anna, you are a dick. And here's another little drawing of me with a plane crashing to the ground and shooting a person. I am a nice child. There must have been another topic that we did about evacuees as well. And we had to, like, make a list of what we would take in our case. And I chose general clothing, a picture, probably of the family, as they usually would, a teddy, and a sketchbook and pencils. But also on this list, I wrote my Game Boy and my Nintendo DS, to which my teacher underlined both and wrote in World War Two. Question mark. Obviously my teacher didn't find the humour in it. Oh, we have a cracker. The cracker. The extended writing book. This is the one that I kind of looked at and thought, why wasn't I put in a special classroom for special children? Because in here there are some very disturbing stories. Like the two frogs. The two frogs stood up tall back to back so they did not fall over. What about it? Your home's the same as mine, mourned Kyoto. And yours is the same as mine, mourned Osama. Suddenly, they heard someone, something, coming towards them. Soon out of the fog came a great pony with a long mane and very long tail. Hello, my name is Atomic Bomb. The next one that caught my eye was called The Plane Terror. Matt was so happy and excited to be going on holiday. Is it time, Mum? Is it? Matt kept asking. No, honey, it isn't time yet, his mum kept on telling him. Soon the day had arrived he was going on holiday today. Little did he know something was going to be in his way. When they got into the airport, Matt looked around. The people all around him looked bored out of their heads. Mum, are you sure this is a place because I don't think this is where planes go to leave? Matt asked his mum. I'm sure it is, dear. Ex excuse me. We booked a flight to New Jersey. As if at that age I knew what New Jersey was. Matt's mum asked the flight attendant. They started talking, whilst Matt was stood there timidly. After the whole talk, they were almost at the door. Matt was jumping out his pants. Although he was excited, his mum tried to calm him down. Mum, quickly, I want to get on board. Matt was really excited now. Calm down, dear. It's only a plane, his mum told him. As soon as they got into the plane, the whole atmosphere changed. The profound silence that followed was the longest you would hear in your life. They were sat there for 30 minutes. I better go ask the driver where the plane is moving, Matt's dad told him. When he got into the cabin, he could see the captain's head was separated from his body. His eyeballs weren't in. Ask! Matt's dad screamed. We're getting off this plane pronto, the dad told him in an urgent voice. When they soon got home, they had a cuppa and a chocky bicky. Then they got on the phone to the police. Let's break this story down a minute. They were going on holiday. They got on the plane. The captain was dead. With no head and no eyes. And then they decided instead of phoning the police, what's the best course of action? Go home, have a cup of tea, eat a biscuit or a chocky bicky. And then, then phone the police. Why did I even think of this? This is the exact reason 
why I should have been put in an institute for special children. But yeah, those are the school books that I kind of picked out. I have nothing to say about me, I'm just weird. This is just a little tiny insight into what I was like at school. You know, doodling all over the pages, not doing the work. Um, but yet somehow I was still a teacher favourite, or a teacher's pet as some people called. I have no idea why. They probably got a laugh from me. I was probably one of the weirdest kids that ever taught. There's always a time for them to find somebody else who's weirder. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give this a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.